a really beautiful pattern and the, the Masai giraffe that we see out here have I feel probably one of the most spectacular of all of the giraffe species that occur in Africa. There's something so artistic about the the patterning of the spots on their skin. Now he's dr or he was drinking. I'm hoping he's going to drink once again because for our new viewers, watching a giraffe drink is always a, it's a, well, it's a cumbersome process and watching it can be really thoroughly quite entertaining because they can't, of course, reach all the way down without having to spread their front legs so that they can get their head down to the level of the water. So there's a little puddle at his feet. Just trying to see if I can see what he's staring at. Now, there's a little puddle over there, and that's what he's been drinking from. <laughs> there it is. There's the puddle. The uh, interesting thing about this particular species of giraffe, and it's really quite clear on this particular gentleman, is the protrusion that is between his eyes on the top of his head. So he's got ossicones. Watch now, he'll duck as we do this. He's got ossicones, of course, those are the horns on the top of his head, but you can also see there's a lump up between them. And that is the protrusion of his skull itself, that solid bone. And that's an additional fighting weapon for when he decides to challenge another male giraffe. And he's been so obliging, this gentleman. He's also, as Fergus pointed out, which I didn't notice, but he's also got a very interesting face. It's a very pale face with very few patches on it. And of course, each giraffe is unique in terms of their patterning. And he's very, very pretty. Long eyelashes, slightly, slightly wonky ossicone. But his face is really very pretty. Off he goes. Thank you, mister. He's been so obliging. He really has. He's been sitting here waiting for us. Umka, by the way, I double checked in my other bird book and the male, ground, male crowned crane is slightly larger than the female. Sorry, just while I'm thinking about it. Um, Umka wants to know how much giraffe need to drink in a day. Giraffe are actually, they'll, they'll readily drink when there's water available, but they are, in terms of the animals that we see out here, they're one of the animals that is quite well adapted to surviving with quite low levels of water. So one of the big adaptions, of course, for, for desert dwelling creatures, and, and you do find giraffe species in the desert, is their loop of Henley in their kidneys is much, much longer proportionately than something like a human. So essentially where all of the water, as the kidneys filter the blood and as they, they sort of remove the, the toxins and the urea or whatever else it happens to be, as they filter the blood, there is a reabsorption process that happens in order to draw water back into, into the body so that it's not lost. And the longer the loop of Henley, the more water absorption can occur. So they've got quite long loops of Henley within their kidneys, within their the nephrons, yes, within the nephrons. So they can actually survive on minimal amounts of water. They're also very, very good at extracting the water from the leaves that they eat. As to exactly how much they drink per day, I don't know. I mean, when you watch a giraffe drink, it's not a process that goes on for a very long time. And it always seems to be actually quite low amounts of water that they consume. They drink a little bit and then they lift their heads up and then they take a couple more sips. It's not like sitting and watching an elephant, for example, that will drink liters and liters of water in one go and will repeatedly draw water up into their trunks and pour it into their mouths. There's all kinds of, I know Tristan's been talking about this and animals that cope best with the heat. There's all kinds of special things that animals can do in order to help to keep themselves cool. I think I've got exciting news for you, but I'm not going to share it yet because I'm still not 100% sure if my info is correct. So I'm going to go off and search for the creature that I've been told is about. Let's go across to Taylor, who has found a, an animal that really would not like to meet my surprise.